The SNP, Ian Blackford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Let us remind ourselves that on the 8th of December last year, the Prime Minister denied that any parties happened in 10 Downing Street. They are the very same parties that the police have now fined the Prime Minister for attending. By now, people know that the rules of this House prevent me from saying that the Prime Minister deliberately and willfully misled this House. <laughs> but maybe today that matters little, because the public have already made up their minds. Yep. Yep. YouGov polling shows 75 per cent of the British public and 82 per cent of people in Scotland have made their minds up on the Prime Minister. Yeah. Yeah. The public knows the difference between the truth and lying. Here, here. And they know that the Prime Minister is only apologising for one reason, and one reason only. It's the only reason he ever apologises, because he's been caught. Yep. Yeah. After months of denials, his excuses have finally run out of road, and so must his time in office. Yeah. The Prime Minister has broken the very laws he wrote to try and argue that he did not know he had broken his own laws would be laughable if it was not so serious. Yeah. Prime Minister, you can't hide behind advisers. He knows, we know, that the dogs in the street know that the Prime Minister has broken the law. This is the first Prime Minister to be officially found to have broken the law in office. A law-breaking Prime Minister. Just dwell on this. A Prime Minister who has broken the law and remains under investigation over additional law-breaking. Not just a law-breaker, a serial offender. If he has any decency, any dignity, he would not just apologise, he would resign. Yes. Mr Speaker, the scale and the seriousness of the issues we are all now facing demand effective leadership from a Prime Minister who can be trusted. The Tory cost of living crisis and the war crimes being inflicted on the Ukrainian people need our full focus. In a time of crisis, the very least the public deserves is a Prime Minister they can trust to tell the truth. And for this Prime Minister, that trust is broken and it can never be fixed. The truth is that a majority of people across these islands will never trust a single word he says again. Mm -hmm. So the questions today are not so much for a Prime Minister desperately clinging on to power. The real question is for Tory backbenchers. Will they finally grow a spine and remove this person from office? Or is the Tory strategy to go on about standing behind a Prime Minister who the public can't trust with the truth? Yeah. Yeah.